Hi, I'm Kelsey Mays for Cars.com. We are at the Detroit Auto Show checking out the redesigned 2009 BMW Z4. This is the first year the Z4 will have a retractable hardtop. BMW says the two-piece hardtop can do its thing in just 20 seconds. That's pretty quick. So is the car. With an available twin-turbo 300-horsepower six-cylinder engine, there's no doubt that this thing will get you up to highway speeds very, very fast. The car rides a slightly longer wheelbase, but it's significantly longer overall, so that means there are a little bit more overhangs up front especially. That's unusual for BMW, who's pretty good about keeping their overhangs tight and kind of keeping these uh, tight, nicely chiseled dimensions. Speaking of chiseled lines, there are fewer of them now. Uh, this car seems to have more gentle curves on it. Looks a little bit more like BMW's 6 Series, actually one of our favorite looking Beamers. More room outside also means more room inside. There's actually... Uh, bigger areas here to sort of stretch out your knees. Um, with the top up, uh, I checked it out, uh, there, there's actually pretty decent headroom. Um, for a small car like this, there's pretty decent storage space too. That isn't something I could say about the previous uh, Z4. The glove compartment here uh, has all right room. Um, there's also a little area here underneath the armrest um, with a couple extra cup holders. Um, and in back here, there's a pass through to the trunk area. Um, there's also a little storage space back there. Overall cabin quality is pretty decent as well. There's leather wrappings on this uh, display car. The wood trim looks pretty good. There's also a few more luxury features than before. You get dual zone climate controls instead of the single zone before. There's things like a heated steering wheel as well. That's good on frosty mornings where for some reason you still want to put the top down. Gone are the old flimsy dashboard flip out cup holders. Now like in the 6 series there's a sturdier one. It sits right here. It's removable uh, and it can fit in the glove compartment. Um, this is where it should be. It might annoy your passenger because it cramps his or her knee room a little bit, but really you gotta ask yourself, did you buy this car for them? Also vastly improved is uh, the iDrive system now. This is BMW's latest system. It's got shortcut buttons, um, an easier to navigate screen. Uh, comparing this generation of iDrive to the first generation of iDrive is like comparing the Dark Knight to Batman Forever. The new Z4 comes at a good time for BMW. Uh, Porsche has just upgraded mechanically its Boxster and Cayman. Even on the low end, there's a new 370Z from Nissan. Uh, if you're in the market for anything in that area, you'll want to wait so that you can give the Z4 a try as well. For additional information on this car or any other, go to cars.com and our blog, Kicking Tires.